I'm not as soft or as generous of a person as I would be if the world hadn't changed me. Daily Bobby Fisher quote. It is day 18 on the journey towards this champion, and I have been seeing pe see people make fun of this journey. Some saying that there might be, you know, 4,000 episodes of this. And, and, I, and I welcome that laughter, and I welcome those jokes, and, and I welcome the mockery, because that will only, you know, add to, to the montage that will be played when I achieve my goals. I'm currently in Tunisia, um, heading to the tournament, the island of, of Durba tomorrow. I've had some crazy stuff with flight delays, and obviously the mic might not be that great right now. Um, you guys are going to have to deal with it. Uh, so I, basically what happened is I was supposed to f fly today, which I did fly. I took my flight. But I noticed that after I was supposed to fly in, and then after I flew in, I had a connecting flight to Jerba. However, that flight, which was just supposed to be at 6.30, had been pushed back to 3 p.m. Therefore, me landing at 4 wouldn't be able to get my secondary flight. So because of this, I decided to fly one day early. Um, and I thought, well, if I fly one day early. So I fly one day early, I go to the airport. I see my flight's delayed by an hour. So stupid me, I get there, you know, like two hours before flight would originally be playing in the airport. And since the flight isn't delayed. Online said the flight was delayed. I got like an email saying it was delayed. So I get there, check-in's closed. And I missed my flight. And I asked them, they say no, it was never delayed. It's quite a confusing thing. So first one of my flights is three and a half hours earlier, which I, I've just never even heard of. I've never, I don't know when that's ever, that's ever happened to me. And then secondarily, flight is delayed, and then the delay reversed, which is also beyond me. So um, I'm going to be getting to the tournament tomorrow, unfortunately, uh, the day that the first round starts, but I feel well rested. Um, you know, I've just ordered some room service, and, uh, you know, I'm in, a, I'm in a good mood. Um, also, been, you know, we're playing quite well, so I'm quite optimistic. And I actually recorded this video before the mic was so bad, but anyways, I want to obviously the concept of, me sh of sharing. Obviously, the tournament's coming up. Um, it's the German Masters, if you guys have been following. It is a eight-player round-robin event in in Jerba, Tunisia. It's an island, uh, like first attraction island in Tunisia, and uh, it's an eight-player round-robin. You play one game against players. It's a classical format. Um, there's also a an open tournament and other side events coinciding with it. It's a big sort of grand event. It's on the island. It's, it's a beach. It's Camels, jet skis. So, it's actually, turned I've been trying to play for a couple of years, um, but it's always sort of fell through um, during you know this time of the year. There's not really that many tournaments, so I'm um, really looking forward to the event. Obviously, playing against uh, I am the top seed, but uh, there are uh, you know two players, one player around 2400, one around 2500, and the rest are you know about 2600 and above. So it's certainly a good field, a bit similar to Vikonze with a mix of, of players of different ratings and, and strengths. Um, and I was actually reminded that Fisher uh, had actually played in Tunisia in Sousse, a tournament that he dropped out of uh, because they had refused to, to adjust to his religious schedule. So uh, Fisher refused to play on the Sabbath, you know, Saturday. Um, or was it, I think it's Saturday. Um, it could be a Sunday, but he refused to play. And they had to essentially work around the rest days so that he would be able to play. Um, and they basically scheduled the rest day for that day so he could rest. Um, and there's this whole thing, he eventually drops out. And so it's kind of funny to return to, to Tunisia, <laughs> where, where Fisher played. Um, obviously not the same tournament like I won in Croatia uh, that he did win, but obviously it's, it's, it's quite funny. One of my editors brought it up to me. Um, but yeah, the, you know, this sort of crazy, crazy travel experiences have, you know, reminded me of, of, of COVID. Um, when, you know, I, I, from starting of December 2020 until May uh, 2021, I, didn't, I, I was out of America just traveling, playing chess. I was also a senior in high school at the time, just traveling and traveling. And at one point when I was traveling from Serbia to Montenegro, I was told that I only needed an antigen test, which is a rapid test. So go to the airport, get a rapid test, they say you need a PCR test. So I'm here, you know, I've got a starting that evening. So you, those you don't know, certainly Montenegro, are close to each other. It's a short one-hour flight. Um, so, you know, traveling the same day as the game is, was not such a big deal. However, I needed a PCR test. So, at this point, it's, you know, 7 a.m. 
And the Turing test hasn't even opened. So I'm, I'm watching Jigitha on time. You know, first I, I, uh, I go to the PCR test, but to get the PCR test, I have to go to the post office. And the post office isn't open. So I take a taxi. I wait out to the post office in the freezing, I mean, freezing cold. Even by the time I'm 17 years old. So people who call me, call me immature, you know, uh, and such. I, I've been traveling alone and, and have quite a mature life, uh, you know, being financially independent at the age of 16 and, you know, doing many things that require some maturity. So perhaps my, um, my honesty uh, and, and uh, is, you know, in a world of deceit is, is portrayed as, as immaturity, but uh, uh, I guess that's their problem, not mine. But anyways, so I finally, to get the search test, I have to go to this post office and buy. It's like this whole, you know, I guess old you know, Yugoslavian or Soviet system that I haven't uh, updated. And I finally get the, the PCR test, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get the PCR test. It's like a 45-minute taxi each way. I was getting scammed by the time. 60 to 80 bucks each time and finally i get back and they say and i'm expecting to to board to, to you know check into a flight at 1 p.m please at 2 and i still make it in time for first game however you know i said okay the result will be there by 1 p.m obviously if the result never comes i take another 30 minute taxi all the way back to the place i get there they give me a physical paper and the funny thing is as i'm you know getting checking into my next flight the, 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 the comes and by this time, I had to fly into a different airport. I was flying into Podgorica, which is the capital of Montenegro. I had to fly into Pivot and then take a taxi. And I, I missed the first time for schedule, you know, all the stuff. It was, it was a nightmare. And it just reminds me of all these, like, traveling with the chess players is such an absolute nightmare. And, and I guess I haven't learned my lesson uh, uh, to, to be cautious. I, I, there's nothing I could do about my flight being made earlier by three and a half hours. But obviously, when I see a delay, I should have just arrived super early. But that was, that was my mistake. Um, but I'm not missing the first round, so everything's fine. Uh, I had another insane story of when I was in Milan, and I've been, I was waiting uh, to play the... I was waiting to be a replacement for the Vikings AB group in 2021. And I was in touch with the organizer, and I was basically, you know... It seemed like someone might drop out because of COVID, so I was waiting in, in Milan, hoping to receive an invitation. But someone did actually drop out, and they needed a replacement. I was in the replacement, unfortunately. However, I stayed for five extra days in Milan, hoping to get invited. And while I was in Milan, and I eventually wasn't invited, and I flew back to New York, I got a positive COVID test. <laughs> um, but I actually had a negative test six days before. I could have flown. Um, maybe, I don't know how I caught COVID in Milan this five days, or maybe it was just when I decided to, when the COVID, you know, showed up, you know, I guess the tests weren't too reliable. I don't, I don't know. Um, so I have to quarantine in Milan and finally I get back. It's this whole, whole nightmare. The friend of mine who was also with me also you know, had to quarantine. It was just, it was an insane thing. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing these sort of travel stories. Um, I can show you guys one last time and, uh, some details about the, the, the festival. Um, if you guys are curious, um, I'll show you it. So yeah, this is the, the tournament's uh, website. Um, I really hope the mic uh, was okay. So, um, there's basically, I'm playing in the master's group. If you look at the registration, um, hopefully you can, it's not cut off. Yeah, you can see it. So this is, it's me, uh, or Intari, Jules Massard, Vasily Manchuk, uh, who I played recently, Daniel Darda, Maurizi, so... So players I've played recently, uh, Brad Lachena and uh, Timur Chmuk. This is the first round of the eight player. You've got the open tournament, which a bunch of which people are, and then you've got like a, you've got all these different sort of uh, you know side events, and there's like an amateur group, and you know all the stuff. You know, so it's a good big event. Um, and they've got all these side events. They've got a boxing event. So I'm going to be doing daily recaps on all my games. Once I'm at the place, I'm going to do some vlogs. You know. Show you guys what I'm what I'm getting up to. Um, nothing intense, you know. I've decided to instead of browse my phone, um, or in between games or watch Netflix, I've decided to only read chess books in between my games. So I brought quite a few books to do that with. So I um, hope you guys you know enjoying the the journey. This is day eighteen journey, which was champion, and we've got the first tournament of the journey after Tight Steel, Tight Steel, which was a complete nightmare, but I'm very confident here. And I cannot wait to see what happens. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out on my Instagram for the clips, my Twitter for dates, and uh, 
you know, all, to all the future Grandmasters watching, I believe in you. 